I am so, 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 so excited today. I have been waiting to review this for a good two months now. This company got in touch with me, right? It's a free beat morph two in one e-bike. This company got in touch with me and says, you know what, we've got some e-bikes, do you want to review one? There's only six of them in the world. What? Six of them in the world? You want me to review one of them? Get it over my way, I'll do it for you. What's so special about it? Well, it's not just an e-bike. It's an exercise bike as well. You what? It's an exercise bike as well? Yeah, and when you use it as an exercise bike, it'll charge the battery of the e-bike. You're joking. It will charge the battery of the e-bike when you're doing exercises indoors. This sounds incredible. Get it to me, get it to me. They've got it to me. So here it is, three boxes. Uh, I'm just gonna rip it all out, I just need to see this thing, okay? And what's incredible about it is they've given me the price the other day. It hasn't even been released yet. It might have been by the time you see this video, but it's on Kickstarter. I'm out of breath, I'm so excited. It's been on Kickstarter, uh, they've been in production, getting every, all the final details ready for the big launch and they need my review so i'm gonna get this baby out and see what we've got it is a fat tired uh e-bike leave me to it god i'm excited come on baby come on come to daddy come to daddy come on we're getting there now, the company did say, follow the instructions, installation video to set this up. I can't find the video anywhere in all the links they've sent me. So, if there's no instructions in here, I might struggle a little bit. But we'll see. Get everything out and see what we've got. Beautiful. Right, I think I've got everything, Mazzy. Oh, there we are, Mazzy, there's you. Find your beat, free beat. You can do exercise classes on this, Mazzy. I can't wait to get into the details and learn about it myself. I don't know much yet, but I have seen videos from the company just showing what it is going to be able to do, and I am excited. Ta-da! All the packaging is off. My trousers are off. It's too warm, it's too warm. I've had to put my, my posh pants on. Right, come with me. So, I haven't got an instruction video on how to do this, but I have built, God, what, probably 10 e-bikes now, so I shouldn't, I should be able to do it, fingers crossed. So here is the toolkit, this is what came inside. Uh, that is the battery which came, was posted about 7, 10 days after the bike. This is how, you know, this is how new this is. They didn't have the batteries ready to go with the bikes, but they have now, so I've got that. Um, two pedals. Battery charger. Spanner. That's your axle for the front wheel. Two reflectors. A back reflector. Uh, spoke reflectors, sorry. A bell. Uh, the usual alum type toolkit. And I don't even know what that is. Bicycle single pull bracket. Solid security durability. We'll work it out. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to try and build this. I'm just gonna have to wing it and see how I get on. So first things first, I always do the handlebars usually on bikes. So this basically just comes off. Four screws. This goes in here and this goes back on there so let me get this on get the handlebars in place and then we'll, i think we'll probably tackle the wheels the wheel should i say so handlebars are done perfectly happy with that really like these grips whenever they do these stitched handles they're really comfy it's got a throttle there look excellent uh, I'm going to try and turn it on upside down now uh, and put the wheel on. I don't know if you're meant to turn it upside down, but 
I'm on my own. I can't ask my girlfriend to help me. It's too. Uh, yeah, I should be fine. Should be fine. So yeah, I am noticing about e-bikes. They're all very, very similar to to build. So I'm doing okay here without instructions. So this is a very good solid plastic uh, protector here. You need to pull that off. There's your spoke which is going to go through. Now I'm not sure if it's going to go that way or that way. That way. That side, you reckon? Uh, here is the wheel. So we do know that this has to go through, what do they call this, the brake? Caliper. Caliper. Sorry, if you can hear any whispering in the background, my girlfriend's lost her voice. So she can't talk, she's trying. She would normally talk in the background. Um, all right, I think that's got a little catch in there. That's it, thank you. Yeah, so far, this is proving to be quite easy to uh, install. I think, until now. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see this plastic, uh, some more protection on this side. There we go. There we go. So now it should slide in there nicely. That's it. Beautiful. It's a bike, Mazzy. It's a bike. Put the rod through it and we can turn it back over. Okay, just make sure that is properly tight. We don't want that uh, coming off. Perfect. Beautiful. Wheels sorted. Pedals, whilst we're upside down, we might as well do the pedals. Um, right, is this right? Left. This is left. Ooh. Left. Oh no, that's saying rotate it left, but is it definitely a left pedal? It's a left pedal. Yeah, okay, let's go with... Yeah, let's go with that. So you screw that on, and this is a really nice spanner, it's got a lovely little foamy handle on it. That fits on there just to tighten it. If I can get it started, there we go. This is what always worries me, the things I, I really want to make sure are on tightly and well are the handlebars, the pedals, and especially the front wheel. <laughs> So next step, what I was going to do is put the reflectors on the spokes. Now, it doesn't matter which company it is who sends me an e-bike, I never know how to do these. Me and Mazzy have both been playing around, seeing how they go on. Can't work it out. It's nothing wrong with the company. These actually look better than the normal ones we have. They're very solid. I can't work it out, so I'm not going to put them on. Um, but it does come with two beautiful reflectors. Let me just show you them. They're a lot more solid than the usual ones. You don't normally have this on there. Anyway, they can stay in the box for now. I want to turn it over now. Come on, darling. I need to do the handlebars. Get that in position. Look at it! Look at my new bike! So the first thing I have done is get the handlebars in position, line them up and just tighten that up so that is now solid. Um, I personally, this is, now you can get this in a step through. Okay, so this bar wouldn't be here. You've got an option and there's various colours as well. I believe we asked for like a, a jade green. I thought that's what we were getting, but we've actually got black. But we're not complaining because it's beautiful. There is a tiny little scratch there um, in transit, but never mind, it's nothing. Um, so, if you're a small lady, I would suggest getting the step through. And I'm no, saying that... Because I still couldn't do it. 
Mazzy can't get on this bike, she has just tried. She cannot get on this saddle. And that's at its lowest, which surprises me. That's my height. That's as high as she can get on this. <laughs> but that surprises me. I'm six foot tall. I'm finding it incre easier than most because you haven't got anything at the back there. Um, so I actually need to raise this just slightly um, for my comfort. But for small women, how tall are you, Mazzy? Five, five foot two. two. Right, so if you're five foot two, you're not big enough for, the, for this, we think. <laughs> Unless you're willing not. to climb on. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna raise that seat up a bit and then I've got a front reflector put, to put on, a back reflector to put on, and we're nearly there. <laughs> I've broken it. Now this is your rear reflector. Now you're gonna have to come right down here, Mazik. See these two bits here on the saddle? it like clips into there and then the other side would clip into there but as I was doing it it snapped so in fact I can leave that on look no 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 okay <laughs> I'll take that off for now so again it's just a matter of getting another reflector which will go around there or finding a way of fastening that on more securely it's just the lights it's not a massive problem it doesn't alter the fact it's a brilliant bike. So, the battery. So this got sent separately. And to get the battery in, there's a little attachment, a little clip there. I don't know if I need the key to open it now, to be honest, I might do. No, no, that plate comes off. And this is where your weight is, guys. That is a beast of a battery. That's a heavy wow. battery. I'll go into all the specs and the weights and everything later on in the video when I've looked at it in a bit more detail, but it's a beast. So the battery weighs a lot. And this is how it goes in, it just slots in here. It's in. And you can see the on button there. And that will obviously go through there. So just clip this back on. So we've got the battery in place, but it has no power because the battery was sent separately. Um, I'm going to have to charge that up. Um, I'll charge it overnight and we'll come back to you tomorrow and continue this video. There's no rush. We've got lovely weather all week. We are going to show you some amazing things with this. Stick with it, yeah? So the bike is fully set up. It's got charged. Um, press the on button there and it comes on. This is the stand which is for the indoor use for when you're using it as an exercise bike. So I'm about to get this on the stands for indoor instructions. But first, let's just talk through a few of the specs of the Freebeat Morph 2 in 1. 720 watt hour, 48 volt battery. Excellent. Removable as well. You've got the key there. Click it, it comes out, you charge it up. Uh, 750 watt brushless motor now I believe that is for the rest of the world 
it's different laws to for, in Europe to America, for example. Um, in Europe, I think it's going to be a 350 watt uh, motor for regulations. Um, the hub motor with hydraulic disc brakes. There is the motor. Do you want to have a look at the motor, Mazzy? That is the motor with hydraulic brakes. The front suspension, here you have front suspension with lockout. You can change everything here and lock it out. That's brilliant. Puncture resistant fat tires, 26 inches. They're very tall, very big and four inches wide. You can get up to 60 miles off one battery charge obviously depending on the weather conditions the terrain and your weight and the uh, temperature as well i think that might uh, affect the battery as well top speed of 20 miles per hour Ooh. so it has got four levels of pedal assist and it has got a screw throttle which i always like to see come down here come down here See these beautiful things, these lovely cogs. Shimano 7 speed gears and the bike itself has a maximum payload of 397 kilograms for outdoor use. So this will support quite a big guy. A very big guy. 397 kilograms. Right, let's get it inside. Let's get it in on the stand and see what it looks like when you're riding it indoors as an exercise bike so here we have it on the stand I'm trying to recreate indoors we haven't got an indoors we live in a motorhome but this is in the awning so this is it on the stand and this is how it would power up but don't let me tell you about it watch this video this is fantastic Wait till you hear what feature this has got, which I haven't told you about. It's incredible! Right, so unlike most e-bike products on the market, the Freebeat Morph 2-in-1 e-bike also doubles up as an indoor cycling machine. It's got several different cycling modes when connected to your phone, tablet or TV. Trust me, cast your screen onto your TV and you'll be well impressed with the immersive and engaging visuals. It's like pedalling into a different dimension. Hop on scenic rides that dynamically adjust the resistance to mimic obstacles like hills and such. You'll also find tons of gamified classes and mini games that allow you cycling to the beat while keeping track of your workout metrics like power and endurance. The saddle's got sensors that can tell you if you're standing or sitting, adjusting the resistance accordingly. There's even a clever personal trainer algorithm that tweaks the resistance based on your performance, making sure you're always at the ideal level. And the best bit, new classes are added all the time and you can enjoy fresh 15 to 30 minute workouts every day with their top-notch instructors so you'll never get bored wait there's more it's got a social element too you can create a profile add your mates see other users stats within the freebeat community and even have a friendly competition with others Freebeat, welcome. My name's Edward. So excited you're here. We got 30 minutes of ridey, so we just got to get into it. Overall, it's an amazing indoor cycling experience, but here's the really brilliant bit. When you ride indoors, the e-bike generates electricity to charge itself for outdoor rides. By recycling the energy generated during indoor classes, the calories you burn are converted into CO2-free miles for outdoor rides. Just 30 minutes of indoor riding gets you enough energy to cover 10 miles outside. Here, with the green words, you can see how many free miles you've earned after each class. Under perfect conditions, this Freebeat e-bike can get you up to 60 miles on a single charge. If you cycle 6 miles each day for your workout commute, that's 30 miles a week. 
So with an hour and a half of indoor cycling each week, you'll never need to plug it into a wall socket. That's eco-friendly transport for life, or at least until you or the bike calls it quits. Of course, you can always charge it the old-fashioned way, but with free green energy from your workouts, why wouldn't you? Now that I've filled you in, let's take this baby for a spin outside and see what it can do. So we are out for a ride in the countryside. This is beautiful. So this is like a single track road, it's not even a road. You don't get any vehicles coming up here, only um, the odd tractor maybe. Uh, it's more, used more for, it's a public way, walkway, and used by dog walkers. But beautiful day, so I am on the free beat. We are in, let's take that down to number one. Right, we're in assist number one. We are in <clears throat> second gear. Let's see what it will do in assist number one. Let's go for it. Right, we're up to 12, 13, 14, 15 mile an hour in assist one. 16 mile an hour. Right, we're in assist three. 18 mile an hour, 19 mile an hour, 20 mile an hour. Whoa, I need to slow down. I need to slow down. What an experience. Wow, this thing can move. Whew. Now, on, with the UK laws, you can't ride this on the main road. You can only go 15 and a half mile an hour on a main road on an electric bike in the UK. Unless you insure your bike, that is. What an experience. So I've made it to this wood now. It's taken me, I think, four minutes. It normally takes me about 20 by walking. That is incredible. What an experience. Now it's a shame I can't take this on the road at the moment because if I carried on going up there, um, it takes you out onto another track and then through some woods and onto a road and then back to the campsite. That'd be a lovely ride. But for the purposes of this video, I've got to stay off the main road. But wow. The adrenaline, I feel like I've been on a roller coaster. That is fantastic. Right, let's get back. I'm still in assist three. And we're off. We're already up to eight mile an hour. <laughs> I've never been on such a powerful bike. You know, I've seen reviews of electric bikes, people in America, where they don't have to watch which speed they go. They're going on main roads, at some of them like 50, 60 mile an hour on an electric bike. And I'm thinking, how can that be legal in America? That would never happen in the UK. But anyway, yeah, this is fantastic. And because I'm not on a main road, I have got the throttle on as well. Uh, you're not allowed to have that throttle on in the UK. But I've put it on because I'm not on the main road. And that's what I'm using. I'm hard. I haven't pedalled yet, I don't think. I've been lazy. So let's put it into seventh gear and pedal. Let's not be lazy. Oh my God. No effort at all. I can tell you that I don't need to wait to get back and review and give you my overall opinion of this bike. As an outdoor bike, this is an in incredible experience. It's comfortable. The seat is really comfortable. The handlebars are really comfortable. The brakes are very easy and sharp. Uh, it just takes off. The screen is so easy to understand. Yeah. You know, this is going to be the main purpose you're going to want this bike, isn't it? For outdoor use. But as said earlier in the video, you can use it as an indoor exercise bike 
and not have to use any power at all. You can just uh, use your legs at home in front of a TV, do some exercises, which are fun. You know, you've actually got like a Mr. Motivator, remember him? Like a proper instructor can do like a dance routine with you. You're listening to the music, you're going with the beat, you're pedaling at the same time, and it's charging your battery up. What an incredible experience. And once it's charged up, which I think, what did it say? You'll get half of an hour, I can't remember, 10 minutes of riding out of half of an hour on the exercise bike. I think that's what it said. I might be wrong. But yeah, wonderful. I've never been down here on a bike before. I'm gonna do it again. In fact, I'm probably gonna do this again tomorrow. So I would like to go down to that wood um, and put some trail cams down there. So yeah, an amazing experience. Back to the campsite we go. In full speed. In fact, I'm back already. I, I had no idea I was back. I thought it was, I thought it was another three minutes. What a ride. What an experience. I know I keep saying the same things, but whew. Right, assist one. Let's get in gear number one. And get we're back on the campsite. Five mile an hour now. This is gonna feel a bit strange only being able to go at five mile an hour after that experience. But I don't know, I do review quite a few um, electric bikes. And I know I keep saying it after every review. That one is special, this one's special. But this is, this is the fastest. This is the most powerful and the beauty about it is, as I keep saying, it's not just an exercise bike, a uh, uh, out, outdoor bike. The, the fastest I've ever been on. It's also an exercise bike for indoors if you wish and you can charge your batteries up by pedaling on your exercise bike indoors. Right, we're coming up to this bit now. This is very deep gravel and even cars get stuck here, so I'm just gonna see how it copes with this. It's normally a skid here. Straight through that, no problem at all. Wow, absolute wow. Whoa. I feel like I've just been on a roller coaster. I do. So that, my friends, is the free beat. So that is the free beat morph two in one. Two in one. Um, I think you you can tell by how excited I was making this video how much I like this bike. As an outdoor bike, that is the. It was like being on a roller coaster. That, and I don't mean it was bumpy. I mean that was such an adrenaline rush. You could get from A to B as fast as in a car on this thing. It has got so much power. And on top of that, it offers something no other bike offers, which is to charge it whilst doing exercises indoors, having fun on an exercise bike indoors, you can be charging your battery rather than plugging it in. You can plug it in if you want, but you have that option. I think it's incredible. It's uh, a new thing. I don't know any other company who is doing it. I don't think there is one. So if you are interested in this beauty, um, I will leave links in the description to to the company. To be honest, at the moment, it's not even available, but by the time I put this video on, it might be. Um, but I will certainly put a link in the description where you can pre-order or you can order by the time the video gets out. And I would highly recommend anybody to get this. You all have a wonderful evening. Love you all to bits and thank you for sticking through this review. Love you all. Bye bye.